right hello ban in a box lovers so hopefully i can get this um, video series finished today um hopefully i don't get disturbed um so where we got to at the end of the last video was that i had uh tuned the lead vocal and i had tuned and lined up the down harmony um with the lead vocal so today i'm going to um tune the 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 up harmony the sung harmony with the uh with the generated harmony so the first thing i do is i just import um the hub the generated harmony and the sung harmony into one session of melodyne okay and then just manually tune it to each other so let's start it's a little bit of a process and it does take a little bit of time, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna edit this this video. So, um, you know, I hope you guys have got a, a bit of use out of it. Um, and yeah, and that you can use some of these techniques. Somebody actually told me the other day that he didn't think that TC Helicon came with. 20 uh 21 real band which is a real problem for me um it will actually prevent me from updating because i use tc helicon on every single song um so yeah i won't i won't be able to update if that is the case and i won't update um okay so i just line up line up all my harmonies exactly like i did with the down the down one press this so that i can see what's going on line them all up beautifully it really is the most amazing tool melodyne um you know i think a lot of people Think that the vocals don't need tuning they say oh, i don't need melodyne or my, my vocals are in tune and, and i tend to disagree because everybody's vocals need tuning even christine aguilera when she goes into a studio they tune her her vocals slightly so um you know if you if, if you're not using melodyne because you think that your vocals don't don't need tuning you kind of stabbing yourself in the foot in my opinion but it is just opinion and um yeah i'll take it or leave it however you want um obviously some people's vocals need more tuning than other people's vocals but that's just my opinion right i might just split that note there so let's just listen to that. It isn't me that he wants he and I are just the fling. I love him, but my name, my name is not um, just want to move this one aside now. Uh, a little bit of timing issue. My name is not Charlene. My name is There's a problem here. that's not too bad um i'll hear what that sounds like in the final version i might when i import these um vocal harmonies i might make more changes and use you know some of the generated harmonies instead of the sung harmonies so where the timing is is not good at all i will generally just use the um the generated harmonies and mix them in Scenes here. Yeah. 
lining them all up, changing the pitch. Problem here. Let's see. Um. All right, nearly done. There's a perfect example. Let's change the pitch on that note. I don't uh, line up all the notes um, exactly, so then sometimes I don't um, line up the pitches exactly, but I try and line up the, the timing as best I can. Um, but not always the pitches, so the pitch that I sing might be uh, slightly different to what um, TC Helicon generate. I think I'm going to split that note. Mm. That doesn't look too good. Let's hear what that sounds like. a horrible note so that's one example where I might um, use the the generated harmonies I, I went way out of uh, tune there when I was singing it it might sound okay Right, um, okay, next one, next harmony. As I, say, as I said in the last video, what I might sometimes do to save myself a bit of time is I might use uh, the same vocal uh, for the choruses for each version, um, you know, for each verse. So I'll just tune one and copy and paste it um, to all the other to all the other um, choruses, but it obviously does make things a little bit dull because your, your, your choruses are all identical. I might have a bit of a problem here. We'll hear what that sounds like. Yes. No, no, that's wrong. Yes. Sometimes I do worry about these little notes in the passing notes sometimes I don't depends on how I feel and if I get lazy um, laziness is a big problem and I I do try and take shortcuts whenever I can to make it quicker and easier to to record a song um, and put out a demo, you know, with little effort, really, because I'm a lazy, I'm a lazy uh, musician, very lazy musician. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. Let's line it up there. No. Um, I 
know some of you are thinking, geez, this is a mission. Yeah, sometimes it is a mission. And um, yeah, it's just something that I do. And I found it has worked for my, for my music. And everybody always comments on my um, harmonies. So I find it is worthwhile spending a little bit of time um you know lining up the harmonies beautifully but it might not be for you in which case skip ahead and then we're gonna go um we're gonna the the next bit we're gonna process we're gonna process our lead vocals using um isotope nectar which is the plugin that i use for all my lead vocals also, Lazy Man's way of mixing uh, vocals. Um, sometimes, I sometimes uh, use it on my harmonies as well. Isn't me is not great, so I'm probably just going to delete it. <laughs> Isn't me that he was? Let's switch to the right of it there. See, isn't me that he was? Mm, let's try just moving that there. Isn't me that he was? He and I are just a playing. I love him, but my name. My name is not Jolene. My name. Let's try moving that there. My name is not Jolene. My name is not Jolene. Okay, that sounds fairly reasonable. I'm going to move on to next one. This one I should have, I should have copied. Anyway, I am nearly done. It's a little bit of a pain. I might end up uh, copying it anyway, so I might have done this all for nothing. Because if I like uh, one one verse, a uh, chorus, then I might end up just copying it to all the other choruses. This. But anyway, let's just finish it. We've started it now. Um, I'd love it if you'd let me know if you would like me to to do a live. A session of of the you know this mixing so maybe my next song um that i write for form which i don't know where it's going to be because i've got quite a bit of work to do i can just check i am recording this yes i am um if you would like me to do a live session i'm thinking on youtube is probably the best place to do a, a live stream and then we can, um, you know, you can actually watch me do this live. Let's split that note. You can always see when it needs, wants to split a note because this uh, line get, gets a bit wavy on the note. I hope that makes sense. Let's listen to that. Isn't me that he was he and I are just a fling. I love him, but my name, my name is not Jolene. My name is not Jolene. Okay, so not too bad. All right, last couple. Let's just see what's going on here behind the scenes. Over. 
sometimes I sung it better than other times. Off. Let's split that note. Split it. Um, I'm going to leave that note there. See what it sounds like. Right. Let's just hear what those two sound like. The name is not what that sounds like in the final version. Just gonna leave that and see what it sounds like. Split that note. Um, I think I got to there. It isn't me See what's going on behind the scenes there. Let's try that. It isn't me that he wants he and I are just settling up. Me that he wants he and I are just settling up. <sighs> Not too sure what to do about that. Isn't me the only one? He and I are just settling up. That he. Me the only one. He. Who's got that long the he? Me the only one. He and I. Are... Okay, let's split that note. Try just moving it over a little bit. Let's see. Maybe. Isn't me that he was here and I are just settling. I love him, but my name, my Try and line that up a little bit better. Better. Where they are. 
not going to tune those. Name is not Jolene. My name is That got worse. That got worse. That got worse. That got worse. My name is not Jolene. My name is not Jolene. Alright, you know, it's good enough. I'm not going to panic about it. So I'm just going to delete this track and then I'm going to export um this to my melodyne folder my form documents form sorry i'm thinking about something else while i'm doing this so <laughs> okay export it right so i'm going to close melodyne down because melodyne has now done its job and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Audacity and, uh, you know, I, I know I shouldn't be doing this because this is just how I find it the easiest way to do it. I, I, I apply my um, isotope to uh, my lead vocal using um, Audacity because I know, I know, like what presets I want to use, I know what I want it to sound like, and I want to apply it, um, you know, uh, permanently to this lead vocal. Okay, so I'm just going to import the lead vocal. I'm just going to put a silence in there, to my silence. Um, sometimes I might go through and reduce the breath noises, and sometimes I might not, depending on how uh, bad the breath noises are. Um, and I'll just I'll just go in and actually just reduce the volume on the breath noises. Other times I might use a plug-in. I don't, I don't think I'm going to bother until I'm worried in this song about the breath noises. So for now, I'm just going to apply Isotope Nectar to um, my lead vocal. And the, there's a couple of presets that I like to use. Um, I like this folk... Um, solo enhancement but lately i've been using country clear country so i'm not even going to listen to it because i know that that's what i like to apply um, to my lead vocal and most of the time i won't even bother to um to apply any processing to my harmonies i'll just leave them as they are okay so here's my lead vocal now so um be able to hear it. Isn't me that he wants he and I so that's better. I'm, I'm just going to actually amplify this a little bit um, because I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit um, soft. Uh, let me just amplify the top here. A little bit just by two, three decibels. All right, so now I'm going to just export that to a WAV file. I always use WAV for uh, like working um, with, with tracks. The only thing that I uh, use MP3 for is the final final song, but most of the time I'll be, I'll be working with WAV files. So my name is not Lo Jolene, so I'm just going to call this tuned processed. Sometimes I might double my vocals um, and put a little bit of delay on the vocals, but for this one, I'm not going to bother. Right, so now we're back into real band, and I am going to uh, select this, and I'm going to import my, my new uh, tuned and lead um, vocal into real band. Import. Right, so there is my lead vocal. What I'll always do with my lead vocal is apply a little bit of compression to the final one. I've just found that that's what I like. Um, I don't worry about the expand of the gate. Just mess about with the volume here a little bit. And then I always also um, apply a little bit of uh, reverb to my, to my lead vocal. I might sometimes do a little bit of EQ on it, uh, depending if, if I 
feel like it's interfering with the base or something. And what I'll generally do is I will just take down the, you know, the, the bottom ends where it's not really active. I might sometimes lift, lift, give it a bit of a lift at like 4K or so. But depending. Right, okay, so that is the, I'm going to mute these two harmonies for now, and I'm going to import my tuned, um, where am I at the beginning? My tuned harmonies here, yeah, import wave file. So I'll just go straight into this, and harmony, yes, okay, and I'm going to import my down harmony. Import. Okay, and I'm going to chew, I'm going to um, spread those wide in the oral, oral field. I don't know why I've got some other junk here, but generally what I'll do is I'll just go and delete all the bits of audio on either side here. Just if there's a bit of noise or whatever, then it just cuts it out completely. And I might do that on the lead vocal as well. So no, I'm not going to need them. I'm not too particular about how I, I edit my, my harmonies until I find something in here that I don't like. Then I'll go and fix it. But to start with, I'll just take a rough, rough estimate. The thing is, when you cut out this audio in between, you, you're cutting out any noise. So if there's any noise or anything in the recording here, you're obviously cutting it out. Um, you know, of the final, the final mix. I do do that. I sometimes do it on the lead vocal as well. I just do that. And as I say, sometimes I'll go through the lead vocal and spot um, um, breath noises that are bothering me. So in order to do that, I just double click here. So there's a breath noise. I'm going to delete that one. Um, But only really if it if it bothers me. So there's a breath noise. So what I'll do is I'll just select that breath noise, go right click, um, edit audio effects, gain change, and I'll just take it down. But I'll only really do that if it, if it bothers me, and I'll just take it down at uh, nine, nine uh, ten decibels. So I'll go through my lead book and do that to see that that, that um, then disappears. But some people will just delete the the breath noises. I, I, generally quite like them because they uh, make the song sound more natural. Let's hear what it sounds like. Isn't it me that he wants he and I are just a thing. I love him but my name, my name is not Johnny. My name is not Jolie. Um, I might actually not use the, the harmony in the very first uh, verse. But I think it sounds okay. Isn't me that he wants he and I are just a thing. I love him, but my name, my name is not Johnny. My name. Okay, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. You know, in this song, I'm actually not going to do much with the um, arranging of the of the tracks. Um, maybe in a, in a next video when I do a live session or whatever, I'll show you how I do arranging of the tracks. But I'm I'm fairly happy with the bass and the drums and one guitar throughout this entire track. I think the focus is probably on the on the singing and also form. You know, they 
Phoebe album writing, but they're not that concerned about the production. They're more concerned about the song and the songwriting. So I'm actually not going to bother to do anything to the uh, style that has been generated by Band in the Box. Um, all I'll do at this stage is listen very carefully uh, to the to the vocals. So I might actually mute all these and just make sure that I'm happy with the vocals. Isn't me that he wants me and I are just a thing. I love him but my name, my name is not Johnny. My name is not Johnny. I'm not here. Okay, so there's a little bit of a uh, clunk bit there. I just want to remove that. I'm not here to break you up What you think that you have got I'm not gonna take him I promise you I'm not Yeah, it's true I want him and I want to take your place Except that when he's with me He only sees your face isn't me that he wants he and i are just a fling i love him but my name my name mm, i love him is not great but i'm just gonna leave it my name is not jolene my name is not jolene i don't reduce that breath I'll leave it I'll leave it there because it sounds more natural but I'll just actually reduce the the volume of it by 10 decibels okay I'll just get rid of all this blank blank space there doesn't seem to be any noise in my in my room so Actually, it's bothering me. I don't anyway. have what he wants, but you ain't given what he needs. He'll stay with you until the end, no matter how I beg and plead. He could easily leave you, and he could take that breath down a little bit. Only, as I say, I only do this when I'm bo when I'm bothered by it. And normally, when when you mix it in with the with the tracks, you don't you don't hear the breath noises. So he much. could easily leave you, and he could have it all with me. But he really loves you. Can't you see? Oh, can't you see? Isn't me that he wants? He and I are just a fling. I love him, but my name. My name is not Jolene. My name is not Jolene. Get rid of that. Jolene. Isn't see breath noises there that I don't like. Rid of any breath noises on the on the harmonies. Let's see what's here. Okay, I'll reduce that by ten. Isn't me that he wants he and I are just a fling. I love him, but my name, my name is not Jolene. Okay, I'm going to take a, a short break. I've got something I need to do, but um, I will put this video up and then continue it in the next one. Thanks.